Member from Scarborough Southwest. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to pay tribute to the wonderful animal rescue work that is being done in my community of Scarborough Southwest. I've had the privilege of meeting a number of people in my riding who rescue cats, dogs, and wildlife through their own compassion and with their own resources. Gandhi once said that the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. This rescue work exemplifies the compassion, humanity, and kindness in my own community. There is one res rescue group who takes care of what is known as the Scarborough Bluffs Cat Colony. In the Scarborough Bluffs area, Mr. Speaker, there are about 16 cats that are considered feral, but who have benefited from the help of volunteer rescue workers who selflessly, selflessly give their time and money to uh, treat these animals. In addition, the volunteers help to rescue defenseless cats and kittens that are dumped at the Bluffs Colony by irresponsible owners. I'd like to pay special tribute to the rescue work of Judy Wilson, Robert Bridges, Doreen Montgomery, Jim Masterson, Russell and Barb Parsons, Wendy Gibson, Peter Eno, and many others. Mr. Speaker, I have heard from countless constituents who have found abandoned cats or litters of kitten kittens under their porch or around their home. The ultimate answer of, to this growing overpopulation problem is to spay and neuter cats and dogs. There is a saying that saving the life of one animal may not change the world, but for that one animal, it is the world. I want to thank all those who helped save the stray animals across all Ontario and again serve to remind people how important it is to have your own cat or dog spayed or neutered. Thank you.